In Hangyang, people consider braised pork to be the most important dish. But they also have a recipe to please those who prefer not to eat meat. At Hung Mountain, the proper rituals include the right foods. This is Hung Young's vegetarian's delight. It's a big day for Jung Dai Yun as she celebrates her 60th birthday. An 11 course banquet is held by her family and friends. When the sixth dish, braised pork, is served, a toast is offered by the host. In Hung Yang, it's traditional for the main course of any birthday or wedding banquet to be braised pork. It represents the best wishes of the people for happiness, longevity, and the well-being of their beloved ones. The braised pork in this restaurant has a big secret. Judging only by its appearance, few would guess the authentic looking dish of meat is actually a vegetarian dish. It has the name Incredible. You might not believe this until you have tasted it. One of the five famous mountains in China, Mount Hung, is often associated with longevity. Hongyang is the second largest city in Hunan province. People say eating a lot of vegetables leads to a longer life. In ancient times, agricultural societies relied on a vegetarian diet. Historical records indicate Hung Young's vegetarian dishes flourished over a thousand years ago. It's a big business today. All the vegetarian dishes have unique names. The steaming sweet and sour pork is made of pineapples and tofu. The locals named it after a Buddhist text. There was also vegetarian seafood. What appears to be a sea cucumber dish is actually elephant yam. Sausages made from lotus roots are called one finger zen and are hardly distinguishable from the real ones. It's a vegetarian feast with irresistible flavors and tastes. For the vegetarian version of braised pork, there's a popular local saying, winter melon sold as braised pork. As the main ingredient for incredible pork, only select winter melons are used. <laughs> Chef Gao Fung has been doing this for 17 years. He likes to pick those fully grown winter melons, which have a softer texture. Once the right one is chosen, Chef Gao is ready to reveal the trick. The first step is to slice it like real pork. Its own skin removed, an imitation pork-like skin is made using the knife. Uh Mm. 
，现在我们。我们有椅子，哦这个、呃，对，你看，均匀椅椅子嘛，你这个打工起得太深了。那这个还能用吗？不能用了，这个做不了了。The shape is right, and it's now time to work on the color and taste. Other ingredients include preserved vegetables, mushrooms, and fermented soybeans. For the color. Winter melon is marinated in soy sauce for a few minutes before frying. Once the color becomes golden brown, it can be removed from the pan. Now the winter melon has acquired the appearance of pork fat. Winter melon slices, five centimeters thick, are placed in a plate and colored again. Preserved vegetables and mushrooms are added. After 15 minutes of steaming, the dish is emptied onto another plate. The last step is to pour on a starch sauce to thicken it. Like a magician, the chef has turned winter melons into braised pork. An incredible dish indeed. Hong Yang's vegetarian dishes are rooted in Buddhist culture. Ever since its arrival in the 5th century, Buddhism has been attracting pilgrims and tourists to Hong Yang. A popular local temple in Hongyang is dedicated to the fire god, Ju Rong. Chinese mythology says he lived at Hong Mountain and passed on fire so people could cook. The mountain has become a place for those seeking health and longevity. The vegetarian dishes prepared in Buddhist temples are equally impressive. The preparation is simple and the food is enjoyed after reciting sacred texts. No waste is allowed. Pilgrims say the best food can be found in the biggest temple here. At the Fu Yen Temple, Abbot Da Yua is proud of their kitchen and garden. Uh, 我们用的都是有机肥料，跟我们那个把那个蝙蝠石啊、粪啊放在这个菜地里面，这个菜呀长得绿油油的。我们山上的水都是矿泉水了，没有污染的，所以很好啊，所以种的这个菜啊又香又
，那我就不用担心发胖了，这个是。那是不会胖的，绝对减肥。There is another locally famous dish on the table. Feeling a little poorly? Perhaps you should try some soup of longevity. There are 17 ingredients needed to make what seems to be a simple bowl of soup. This is Hang Yang's vegetarian's delight. Today is market day. Early in the morning, Chef Gao buys the ingredients he needs. Ganoderma mushrooms is the most important part of the longevity soup. It's often called the immortal plant and was used as medicine thousands of years ago. Many species of Ganoderma mushrooms are available in the market. Like we eat good gao tang, we use this kind of soup. The soup is made from the soup. Yes, it's like this. This kind of soup. This kind of soup. This is about 1357年,就是一个年代,就是一个年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年代的年
fish fillet should be boiled only for one minute. The vegetarian fish fillet looks and tastes like the real thing. The longevity soup is associated with a religious deity called Ma Gu, an immortal in Taoist legends. She represented longevity for women. Ma Gu is our Nanyue, the only woman's sister. The only woman is the first woman in the world. The第一位出家的女道士是商秦派的创始人她在南岳修行一直到八十三岁她羽化她的侍女就是传说中的麻古一直跟着她在南岳这里修行开菜谱种林子然后吃林子所以魏夫人和麻古都是寿命很长而且像魏夫人到了八十三岁的时候她像一个死了岁的少女一样的至于麻古多大年纪呢传说就是她曾经看到沧海变成桑田就说明她也是很长的寿命因此后来后人就用麻古新寿来做出老人
Okay. To make them tastier, sesame seeds are often added. On New Year's Eve, every household will display treats in specially made wooden boxes. They have nine squares and are passed down from generation to generation. They contain a special message. Oh, this is your nine square, right? Yes. What kind of cake did we make? Oh, this is which kind? This one. Oh, this one. Yes. Oh. Hey, did you make the one we just made? Yes. It's a little different. After you add the yolk, it's a little different. It's a little different. The top is hard. I'll try it. Can you try it? 嗯，这个地瓜挺甜的啊，对，而且这个松松脆脆的，对，嗯，挺好吃。你们这个摆这个有什么讲究吗？我们这讲究啊，嗯，是因为可以拿了，是最珍贵的，我们就把它这个好的就把这中间，嗯，最好的，哦，最好的摆在中间，嗯、这是我们自己做的这个土产，就把这中间、嗯，这是诚心诚意的大客人的。那怎么叫九宫格呢？这个九宫格啊，就是意思的话呢。就是大年初一，客人到我们这里来做客啊、嗯，这个春节的时期啊，就一直叫喝他是“九九发财”，“九九发财”对，“九九发财”<笑>啊，老年人的话呢就“九九长寿”。An increasing number of people see the health benefits of a vegetarian diet. At the mountain, there's a little village called Longevity Village. And there's a story behind that name. 延寿村的来历就是由于这里有个亭子叫延寿亭，就这个亭子。清朝晚年的时候，呃，江西有一位盐商，这个盐商叫做杨尔成，多次来到我们南岳，在这里避暑啊啊啊求寿，啊，来了十多次啊，每来一次以后，他的身体就越来越好了。啊，于是为了纪念他这个活动啊，所以在这里呃建了一个延寿亭。啊，传说他活到了一百零三岁。啊，现在就是延寿村这个老百姓，呃，像他一样的啊，也喜欢吃素，所以这个村子里面现在啊，长寿的也很多。The benefits of a vegetarian diet are evident. Soon Mei Ling, the wife of Chiang Kai-shek. Loved vegetarian dishes when the couple lived in Hangyang. She promoted the Chinese vegetarian diet on her trip to the U.S. in 1943. 听说啊，这个宋美龄之所以高寿啊，一百多岁，与他啊七次来南岳，住在庙旁边。啊，吸收佛教里面饮食的一些科学的东西，影响他后来的饮食习惯，所以使他嗯健康长寿。孙美龄听说啊去世的时候一百零六岁。For hundreds of years, Hongyang has been offering delightful vegetarian dishes to pilgrims and visitors. 上楼梯进去的，那么大家好，才是最好的啊！来，大家跟我一起的。From incredible braised pork. To longevity soup, to sweet potato chips, they are not just delicious, but very healthy, and offering the best wishes for good fortune and a long life.